Well, if you've driven in the Central Business District, you've probably noticed some delays from the traffic lights being out after Hurricane Ida, but it's also a big problem for pedestrians, and it's gonna remain a dangerous situation for at least another month, if not longer. How's it getting across the street? It's a workout. It's like playing Frogger. At the intersection of Loyola and Poydras, in the heart of the Central Business District, the traffic lights are out, and they have been since Hurricane Ida. Oh, and they aren't getting fixed anytime soon. Wow, that's really dangerous. That's really dangerous. I can't bring my grandbaby out here. The mess is creating some longer than usual delays for drivers, but it's also an issue for those on foot. It's difficult because the people don't stop for you all the time. You have to walk and uh, hope they'll stop. From a pedestrian standpoint, it's definitely um, a little bit risky. And it isn't just this intersection. At Loyal and Gravier, the lights aren't even blinking red. Instead, there are a few stop signs. Rush hour traffic here is a big problem with drivers either uncertain of the rules or just disregarding them altogether. Just look at this Jeep running through the intersection without even tapping the brakes. I feel like the drivers aren't quite sure what they're doing. They're trying to focus on the other cars and not necessarily the pedestrians in that moment. The city says there's no timeline for when the lights will get fixed. City spokesperson Bo Tidwell said Tuesday the emergency contract up for bid has not been fulfilled and even when it is, it will be another four to six weeks to make the repairs. So it's going to be a minute. Um, and in the meantime, we do encourage people to be vigilant and to be patient in those, those spots. I, I drove through it myself every day, and it's, it can be quite nerve-wracking. Um, but there's not an easy fix. There's not a quick solution to that. With another month or even more of this mess, folks we talk to say there should be at least crossing guards or traffic cops in place. Uh, yeah, traffic cop will be good. We'll be safer for all. For now, the intersection remains an accident waiting to happen. And we reached out to the NOPD and asked them about adding some traffic cops to the area. They didn't answer the question. They just sent us a statement saying they're asking motorists to be respectful of each other and treat the affected intersections as four-way stops. The city estimates the repairs will cost about a half million bucks. 1040, and we'll be right back with more in a minute.